Hi, this is Chris from the Guitar Training Camp and the Guitar Training Camp Online. This is the third beginner lesson in the series, How to Strum Guitar. Let's take a look at your lesson. Okay, for this beginner rhythm three uh, rhythm, what we have here is we have four measures and uh, each measure has the exact same rhythm, which makes it pretty easy. I think um, what makes this a little challenging is being able to change the chords for a beginner, being able to get those transitions down and be able to change quickly uh, is going to be the challenge. So in the first measure, what we have here is we have uh, an E major chord, sounds like this. And we have a quarter note, uh, followed by two eighth notes, a quarter note, and then two eighth notes. And we're going to count that. We're going to go one, two, and three, four, and. And we're going to strum down on the down beats. That's why on beats one and three, we're strumming down. On beats two and four, we have two eighth notes. We're going to strum down on the down beat, and then up on the, on the and, when your foot should be coming up. So it's going to go one, two, and three, four and all right now the second measure uh, I have a D chord I, I have D over A I, I put that just because I like to play the fifth string open when I play a D chord and then I let my thumb mute out the sixth string here uh, that way I can strum all six strings and technically it's called a D over an A chord once again we have the same rhythm it's going to go one two and three four and All right, and in, in the third measure, we have an A chord. I like to play an A chord like this with my uh, second, third, and fourth finger. It's perfectly acceptable if you use uh, fingers one, two, and three. A lot of uh, instructional books will show you that way, to, uh, those fingers to use. But me personally, I use uh, two, three, and four. And that rhythm's gonna go one, two, and three, four, and. And then in the fourth measure, we have uh, this, it's going to be the same as the first measure. It's going to go one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, now I'll go ahead and play all four measures in a row while counting. Three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. I'll go ahead and do that again, except this time I won't do any counting. Uh, you can just play along with me. Three, four. If you have trouble making the transitions, you just can't get your hands there quick enough, well then go a lot slower. Go one, two and three four and you know take your time setting up the d chord if you have to it's not really about how fast you can do it it's just uh, i'd look at it more as how accurately can you play the rhythm it doesn't matter whether you can play it at 60 beats per minute or 150 um, you know really str focus on accuracy i'll go ahead and play it one more time one two and three four and one two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and. Thanks for taking the time to watch this guitar lesson. If you like this lesson and you would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the little bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified when we come out with another video. I'll see you in the next lesson.